Hello, I'm Roger Davis and welcome to this special preview all about my forthcoming art exhibition. It's going to be at the Harrison Lord Gallery in my hometown, Brighouse, West Yorkshire, and it starts on Saturday the 9th of November. There will be hopefully over 30 brand new paintings in this new exhibition. Um, I am building on what I've done previously and I celebrate my locality, uh, my favourite places in and around uh, where I live in West Yorkshire. So for instance, if you come and see the show, you'll see paintings of places such as, let me think now, the Peace Hall and the Square Chapel Centre for the Arts in Halifax, um, Castle Hill near Huddersfield, uh, the Rex Cinema in Elland, Betty's Cafe and Tea Room in Ilkley, as well as lots of other of my favourite places. Through my pictures I try and celebrate um, my local area and the wider world of course sometimes, but uh, my paintings let me celebrate the parts of life that interest me and inspire me. I like to tell stories through my artwork and share my enthusiasm for um, places that are very near and dear to my heart I suppose at the end of the day. My paintings come from the heart and there's a lot of myself in them but I hope that the audience can also see a lot of themselves in the pictures as well because uh, the paintings aren't just all about me they're often about the community of you know which I'm a part of and um, the places around me that are very special. There is a selection of new paintings in this forthcoming show which are all about um, two of my great art heroes, uh, Peter Brook and L.S. Lowry. Well, you know, I was, I was very fortunate to um, get to befriend the painter Peter Brook and um, he, was, he was a fantastic artist, first of all, but he was also an extremely humble, kind, warm-hearted gentleman who um, really taught me a great deal about what it takes to be an artist and the uh, gift to me I suppose was an artist's life is possible as long as you're willing to work very hard and, and do certain things to, uh, to nurture your work. Well, um, I'm a great enthusiast of um, L.S. Lowry's work um, he seems like a, a fascinating character as well as a brilliant painter in my opinion. Now when I started to uh, to make my pictures I realized very very at my paintings with figures so um, when I look at L.S. Lowry's paintings I'm often fascinated by how many figures he managed to, to fit into his pictures um, for a start so I suppose one of the problems that, that presented itself to me when I uh, started to draw and paint was how to draw and paint in a style which was hopefully going to be as uniquely my own as possible. Um, and studying someone like L.S. Lowry really helped me um, overcome a few of the problems that arose when I started to make the kind of pictures that I make. Usually in my paintings you will see uh, figures um, on their way somewhere. They're either coming or going from some kind of activity or an event or a particular venue or place. I like to kind of depict uh, the world in motion if you like um, and celebrate aspects of the everyday that people do the places where they go, the places where I go, the things I love to do, and the kind of things that, um, that happen to people every single day of their lives. I like to think that there is a lot of, a lot of fun in my paintings. Um, the figures usually tend to be enjoying themselves, or at least kind of on their way to do so. Um, I want my paintings to be very light-hearted and fun, accessible easy to understand and very straightforward um, with regards to the way that I make them and how I present them. Now then, this will be my fourth exhibition and I've really tried to push the boat out and be really quite ambitious with the, the work in this show. Um, there are some of my largest paintings 
in this exhibition. And I think um, some of my personal bests as well, even if I say so myself. Um, I'm very fond of all the subjects that I've painted. Um, I'm very proud of the work and I just, I just can't wait for people to come and have a look and, um, you know, let me know whether they like it or not. I certainly hope that they do. I have tried to um, paint some new subjects this time around. Um, as I kind of live my life and go to places and see things, I notice things all the time. And uh, I'll see such a, a, a kind of a building or a landmark or a place, a street. And I'll think to myself, there's a, there's a picture in that, I have a story to tell about that. So um, I've got round to doing some brand new subjects this time. Very ambitious in terms of uh, scale and subject matter. Since I'm um, starting to exhibit my paintings, I've been absolutely amazed um, by the response um, that's been shown to it by people that see the work. I've found myself on the receiving end of um, a great deal of support and enthusiasm. Um, I've enjoyed three exhibitions that have all sold out. Um, all the work has been purchased and uh, well it took me by surprise to say the least <laughs> um, but I have great faith in in what I do I work very very hard at it and um, I put all of myself into it I think I need to in order to make it work and be successful the exhibition opens on Saturday the 9th of November at the Harrison Lord Gallery in my hometown Brighouse West Yorkshire and um, I'll be in the gallery myself on the 9th of November um, from 10 o'clock in the morning until 3 p.m. and uh, you'll be welcome to come along. I'd love to meet you and say hello and show you around the exhibition personally. So I would very much look forward to that and uh, hope you can make it. I do have a very positive outlook on life in general and um, I really hope that my artwork reflects that. I try to draw and paint in a style which is hopefully as uniquely my own as possible. So for instance I'll change and enhance, I'll simplify colours, shapes, the perspective to try and arrive at a, an image which is recognisable, um, light-hearted, hopefully endearing and um, with lots of fun to be found in there somewhere. I was lucky enough um, earlier this year to be featured on a BBC One television programme called Home is Where the Art Is. I don't know if you saw that, but it was great fun. And um, after being on the show, I found that the phone uh, never stopped ringing. People were calling me from all over the country asking me to paint them uh, special pictures and commissions. So I've been extremely busy, uh, but I have managed to find time to make uh, lots of paintings for this brand new exhibition at the Harrison Lord Gallery in Brighouse starting on the 9th of November. I put, uh, I put so much of myself into my artwork, it really means a lot to me and um, I hope that people can see that, but I also hope that people can recognise parts of themselves in it as well, because after all my work is not just about me, it's about so much more than that, it's about other people, it's about the place where I live and it's about the wider world I suppose. Do you know what? I would love to meet you all. You in particular. Yes, you. Come to the Harrison Lord Gallery in Brighouse, my hometown, and see my next exhibition. It starts on the 9th of November. Not long to go. I can't wait. Very excited. Come along. I'd love to meet you. Right. That's it. It's a wrap. I'll just do a little, just do a clap again. Just do a... Thank you.